What's going on everybody? So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be looking at how to change and or set up charts and line types on Weeble. In particular, the mobile version. First thing we'll do is we'll open the mobile app, the Weeble app. We'll click on and search on any stock you prefer. For this particular example, I'm going to do the SPX. And here you'll see once we got it open, it's going to open as a line graph. And you can see at the bottom there, go through several different one day, five day, one month, one year, different time frames. And then as we move on, we're going to see in the bottom right, going to be a button and it's going to be a line graph and it's going to pop up the line types. And it's going to allow us to see different ones. You can go through and experiment what you prefer. Uh, but for this particular one, I, I prefer using candles, um, occasionally a line graph, but uh, for the most part, going to be using just the regular candles. And once you get into the candles line, you'll see there are going to be different options um, to time intervals as what you can do, 1 minute, 5 minute, 15 minute, etc. And you'll also see at the bottom we'll have even bigger intervals. Daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly, etc. Uh, all these are different time intervals that you can look and get an idea of how you want to get your chart set up, etc. Just remember there's no right or wrong way. It's all up to you. And once we go through these, you just kind of find what you're looking for at the bottom right. There's something called the chart toolbox. We're going to have different things in there and we're going to go to the indicators and you're going to see there are different things, EMA, MA, bull, IC, etc. There are going to be different things that in your own free time you can kind of look up and see uh, what you're going to prefer. I prefer the moving average and the VWAP. I use those on essentially every chart, but again, find work, find what works best for you. That being said, moving right along. So you'll see in the drawings here, we have different trend lines, different patterns, text, etc. All kinds of different things you can do within this particular box. And I'm going to show you here. Let's say we wanted to, we're going to take a horizontal line. Let's say we want it to show, hmm, where are we seeing it get bought up at? Where is the stock stopping, etc. Things like that. And we'll make that with our line. And then you know what? I need to make another one. Where do we see a lot of selling taking place on this particular stock? And then I'll make that line. And you can kind of just do this. You, you're looking for patterns. You're looking for where's the stock getting held up at, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but guys, you'll be able to kind of go through all this experiment on your own. And here I'm just kind of showing on a five minute candles. Does, you know, is there any respect for this line that we just drew? And you can see there, there is some. But guys, I just kind of wanted to show you the basics. Uh, if you have any questions, just post them down below. And we can always go into more detail in other videos. But I want to thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. Check out any links down below as well.